This week and last week, I've been kind of covering a lot of batteries. So I thought it might be helpful for you guys if I kind of go over my battery management system. In this case, this is a tannish brown pencil bag. And you're probably wondering why I use this. Well, if you have your battery floating around in your camera bag or in your backpack, there's always the chance that it could short out against something and the battery could possibly explode or something could superheat. I've never had the explosion happen, but I have had a few paper clips that have melted through my backpack because I had loose batteries floating around. Well, the reason I use these bags is because this separates the batteries from any other metal objects that you might have in your camera bag or in any other part of your backpack if you're carrying around these in a backpack. Plus, they're really easy to identify. This one's tan, it says LPE6 on it. So you can easily pick out this bag from a bunch of other bags and get batteries out of it. Why is this useful? Well, if you have multiple colors like this one right here, this is green and this is orange, I can tell somebody who's working with me who doesn't know how I store my batteries or where I keep them to go grab a battery out of the tan bag or a battery out of the orange bag or a battery out of the green bag. And that makes it really easy for them to get from me to my batteries and back to me again with the correct batteries without me having to try and explain what an LPE6 is, LPE8 battery, or a battery for the C100 or any of the other types of batteries that you use. So having these little canvas bags holding all of your batteries in each individual type makes it really easy to organize your batteries. Now on top of that, I put rubber bands or the plates for those batteries on them so I know which ones are charged. When a battery is charged for these LPE6 batteries, for example, I put the plastic plate on there before I stick it back in. That way I know that the battery is charged. I tell them to grab one with a rubber band on it or with a plastic orange plate. That means the rubber band indicates that the battery is charged. So does this orange plate right here. Both of those are helpful tools for people who are trying to get to a battery really fast and they wanna get the charged batteries. Then I just make sure to cycle these through or have somebody cycle these through on the chargers as I use up the batteries and keep those used batteries separate from the batteries that are freshly charged. So that way you don't get any confusion and grab a discharged battery and then try to put it at the camera and waste more of your shoot time using batteries that aren't ready to go. This is kind of my method of going about battery management and it works really well for me, but I'm interested to hear from you guys. What do you do for your battery management? Do you guys use these canvas bags? Do you keep your batteries separate? Do you just throw them in the front pocket of your camera bag? What works best for you? Maybe pooling all this information together will help us all decide on a great battery management system for our film shoots in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.